In this video I will show you how to use Excel 2016 to solve trigonometric expressions such as sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and coscant. It is very important to note that when we are solving trigonometric expressions in Excel, Excel uses radians, not degrees to solve these calculations. If you use angle is in degrees, you must convert it to radians first. I will show you how to use Excel built-in trig function to perform this calculations. Open Excel. Type angles, degree, in A1. Angle, radians, in B1. Sine in C1, cos in D1, tan in E1, cot in F1, secant in G1, and cosec in H1. Your screen should be now look like this. Next type angle say 30 degree in A2. Your screen should be now look like this. As outlined before, when we are solving trigonometric expressions in Excel, Excel uses radians, not degrees to solve these calculations. As we are using angle is in degrees, first we need to convert degree into radians before we perform these calculations. For changing angles from degree to radians, click on the cell B2 and type equals radians. Select radians function from the drop down menu. Then click the cell A2 to select the angles in degree. Click on enter. And the cell B2 have a value around 0.523. Now we would need to use this radians value to perform calculation of different trigonometric functions. For sine function, click the cell C2 and type equals sine and select sine function from drop down menu. Then click the cell B2 to select the angles in radians. Click enter. The screen will look like this now. And the cell C2 have a value around 0.5 for sine 30 degree. Likewise for cos function, click the cell D2 and type equals cos and select cos function from drop down menu. Then click the cell B2 to select the angles in radians. Click enter. Now your screen will look like this. And the cell D2 have a value around 0.866 for cos 30 degree. For tan function, Click the cell E2 and type equals 10 and select 10 function from drop down menu. Then click the cell B2 to select the angles in radians. Click enter. Now your screen will look like this. And the cell E2 have a value around 0.577 for 10 30 degree. For cot function, click the cell F2 and type equals cot. Select cot function from the drop down menu. Then click the cell B2 to select the angles in radians. Click enter. Your screen will look like this now. And the cell F2 have a value around 1.73 for cot 30 degree. For secant function, click the cell G2 and type equal secant and select secant function from drop down menu. Then click the cell B2 to select the angles in radians. Click enter. Your screen will look like this now. And the cell G2 have a value around 1.15 for secant 30 degree. For cosec function, click the cell H2 and type equals cosec and select cosec function from drop down menu. Then click the cell B2 to select the angles in radians. Click enter. Now your screen will look like this. And the cell H2 have a value 2 for cosec 30 degree. Now you can change the angle value in the A2 cell to get sine, cos, tan, cot, secant, and cosec in different angle. Such as change the value in A2 to 45 degree. Or 60. Or 0. Or 90.
the values of the trigonometry function will be changed accordingly. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that this video helped to use basic function of the trigonometry. If you have any comments or you would like to solve any other mathematical functions using Excel, please let me know. And please also subscribe this channel. Thanks again and bye.